Good morning. This is Hagen Lee for a morning update with Bitcoin. So here is a clean chart using Bitfinex price fades. And I think I will start with the daily pattern time zone. So before I do any counts, I just want to do a line, draw some lines. So to me, this is a very um, prominent support line. And I am going to draw this parallel to the support line. The way and, and yes, this is a bearish flag. And if you want to have it, you can have this as well. Like so. Just about every Eliotician out there <coughs> is calling for a scenario that looks like this. And I am fully aware of it. I am fully, fully aware of this. I have my eye on this count. I've had it since the beginning. I will, if you recall, back when we were doing this, I said this looks too much, three wavish. In fact, back then, I was possibly projecting a broadening pattern of this type, if you recall. I was thinking that it'll go to maybe 2000 this way. But as soon as I saw it bust out of this blue line, and I kept referring to that blue line resistance, I changed this count and got rid of it. Now, the fact that everyone is saying this is A, this is B, and we're going to see a massive C down to a 4 here. <coughs> and I know, I know, I am fully, fully aware of that. I have been for quite a while now. I know I am aware of it. I am aware of, I think, every elitician is aware of just about every possible counts. Now, in a correction, there is a 36 possible pattern that the correction can take. Okay? Given that possibility 1 in 36, which means every count that an Elliot Titian puts out has 1 in 36 chance, I'm sorry, which is about almost 3%, a little less. Those odds are pretty bad. <laughs> That's why for um, most Elliot Titians get ridiculed when they're trying to count the corrections because they are very low statistical likelihood of getting it right on the first count. I got it wrong on my first count. I thought it was broadening pattern. Oops. This didn't happen. Nope. I was wrong. 
and that's fine. You have to be able to adapt quickly. So people are now saying this is A, B is done, and C is going to crash down. It's just going to crash from about 4,000, say, I'm 4,000, 43.50, make it even. <coughs> For prices to crash, let's say by $2,500, $2,300, there needs to be a lot of sellers out there. For prices to go from sub 5000 almost 5000 let's say, to 3000 that's 2000 It took MACD from plus 400 to minus 116, so 500 total value of MACD. Let's call it for easy terminology, 500 units of MACD, or well MACD, I don't like MACD, but MACD units it took. I'm sorry, they have to go from here. 360, so 460, so about almost 500. To take it 2,000. By $2,000. Here we are at 95 and if we're going to take the prices down by 2500 or even by another 2000 we're going to have to go from 94 to and and that's some bigger distance price distance than the first a that's going to have to be a MACD that will have to be minus 400 down here. That is possible. I have seen that happen. It could, have, it could be just like here. Took it, took it right down. I am fully aware of that possibility. But uh, to me, possible and probable are very different things. And if prices start impulsing down, If I see three and then a start of a four, then I'm stopped out. Then I would be stopped out. Then then there's going to be a five. I would be stopped out. That is my exit strategy if this scenario comes about. I've said this before, yesterday, in yesterday's update as well. The fact that just about every elitician out there is calling for this makes it seem that it's so obvious to all the elioticians. Oh look, it's an A, B, C, it's a no-brainer. And even Bitcoin loves to fool people, fake you out. The obvious can be happen, but I'm looking for the maybe not so obvious. And I'm thinking that one of the personality traits of cryptos is on a daily scale, they love to do 
what's called an expanded triangle. Here is A, is B, is C. I've often said there are many counts, multiple, more than one way to count, but the same distance. And that applies exactly here too. You can go here, same distance in this count, A, B, C. Or we can go A, B, C this way. And this is called an expanded flat. And this is my still my primary count. That we expanded flat means that B, the peak of B exceeds slightly the prior peak. I say by a couple hundred dollars. Bottom of C exceeds the bo um, bottom of A. That's an expanded flat. So it'll be one of these two, I believe. <coughs> and what's important for me to keep an eye on is, is this going to start impulsing down? So to that end, let's go to the hourly. If you want to call this one, two, Then you can see if we can count here. So let's say one, two, three, four. And that's not going to work because there's a bit of an overlap between the peak of four and bottom of two. I mean, it's our bottom of one. We can do. One, two, three, four, five. Right? But this doesn't look the actionary. I guess that's the word, one of the words that R and Elliot might use. <coughs> Impulsive should look. like that. This is taking that shape, but this here is different. I could say it's an extended one maybe, but that's not going to work. So one can count this. One, two, and then they're going to expect a three, four, five, something like that, let's say. Okay, that'll be interesting. What I'll be looking at, <coughs> then, if this does happen, that support line. Oops. This support line should hold. And if this is decisively broken, to give, and you can probably tell how decisive it could be by 
how vigorous it pierces us and stays down and keeps going down because it's a wave three. That'll be telling me a lot. Then it'll be time to uh, start setting up, um, not training stop spot, active stop limits. So I just wanted to take you through this. Some people are getting worried. That's fine. I get worried all the time too. It's a human nature thing. If you don't get worried, you're not normal. So, what I'm, what I'm looking at is for this to start channeling. <coughs> within this channel. That means this support will hold. For this to happen, the support is expected to hold. Prices might retrace down to 42.71. Right here where the support is. Bounce off that. The reason why I think so is because This was a miniature impulse. Came down. I think this was mostly corrective. W, X, Y. <coughs> and this was impulsive. between the bottom of four and the peak of one, check. Bottom of two does not equal or exceed the bottom of one, check. Three is not the longest, uh, three is not the shortest amongst the five, check. Also wave five subdivise beautifully. And look here, here's wave three, here is wave four doing an expanded flat. Exactly what I'm looking for Bitcoin to do, but on a daily scale. You see this? So here's A, B went higher than the prior peak, and C. A lot more common in cryptos, expanded flats, than, than in um, equities. So here also is wave five, which beautifully subdivides. Two. Three, four, five, ends in almost like a ending uh, 
terminal pattern. So we have one, two, three, four, <coughs> five. After five waves, we get a three wave retrace. A couple of days ago, or was it yesterday? I can't remember now. I thought this was the retrace. Well, within the realm of wave four. But this is wave five. And the retrace could be like this. Or down to the support. It just might touch the support. These five waves. could be labeled as wave one, of a higher degree. And if this is Wait. Two. The rule of wave two is what? Rule of wave two says that wave two cannot equal or exceed the start of wave one. So if it comes down to here where there's some support, it could. Now there's a good amount of support here as well could end there too, as long as it's below wave A. Let's subcount wave C. Wave C of A, either zigzag or flat always has five waves. One, two, three, four, five. This is slightly lower. One and two obeys the rules. Four does not overlap with the bottom of one. Three is not the shortest. And five. So potentially. <coughs> could almost be done. Or it can go down as low as here. Could be here or there. Now let's look at patterns. Someone's probably looking at this too. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Very valid. Forty-one sixty-nine or forty-one seventy-ish or so could be the minimum tra trajectory of this head and shoulders. So what this means is we need to see if this support, if it does go down, if the support holds. Now. There are often what's called negating effects, net zero effects, a wash. What I mean by that is 
And this is a new concept that I, I don't want to say I found it or invented it or what have you, but I noticed and observed it. As a technical analyst, you want to be try and be as observant as possible. So here's the head and shoulders. There's one. But if you can see attached to it pretty close to it, an inverse head and shoulders. Here's head and shoulders top. And then you see an inverse head and shoulders. It has a net zero effect. It almost neutralizes the, it's like the magic <laughs> anecdote to neutralize the top effect by having a bottom effect right after it. It's actually pretty cool. It may give an indication of a start, but it can be neutralized. Check this out. It was a head and shoulders bottom, got neutralized by this top, which got neutralized possibly by this bottom one. Let's delve back into the zone. So, I wonder if this will potentially be neutralized by something that might look like, oh God, I don't know. This? Or? So do you see what I'm saying? It's called a wash. I call it the wash of the... Uh, since I'm coming up with a lot of names, I'm going to call this the neutron gun. Neutralizing gun. <laughs> Neutral... Neutralizing pattern. When it happens, the opposite, a mirror image of it, it gets net zeroed. Here, Head and shoulders, top, got zeroed by head and shoulders, bottom. This head and shoulders, top, could potentially get zeroed by this head and shoulders, bottom. Or this bottom could come down more, the head. Touch, like so. All right, this video is getting too long now. It's going to take too long to upload. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope I have earned the right to ask you for your upvote, follow, and re-steam. Also, please follow me on Twitter, where I put out real-time alerts of new posts of analysis. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Hedgin, H-A-E-J-I-N, underscore crypto, C-R-Y-P-T-O. If you have any questions, please do post in the comments. And as always, I appreciate your view, your reads, and your interaction in the comments section. Thank you. Have a good day.